everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 home organization ideas to get your entire home organized, clean, and make it super functional. I'm going to be sharing with you ideas that you can use to organize your bathroom, kitchen, closets, laundry room, and open areas around your home. So if you're looking for some inspiration and motivation to get started, I hope this video helps. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be taking my organizing to the next level this time by custom customizing and making my own labels using my Cricut Maker. They're going to be so cute. I'm so excited to share them. So more about that later on in today's video, but let's go ahead and get this organizing started. I love using organization as a way to optimize the amount of space that you have. So using doors like this is a perfect way to store some extra things vertically without taking up too much room in your home. So I'm going to be using this Ikea stuck organizer. This is something that you can unfold and hang and store away when you're not using it. It doesn't take up any space at all. You can hang it over top of your door or in a closet and it's just the perfect way to organize smaller items. I'm going to be using this as a way to organize my cleaning supplies. I've shown many different ways that you can store cleaning supplies to kind of optimize the space, but this is a super useful one. You can store all of your cleaning supplies, all of your accessories, and it just makes it really easy to open the door, find what you need and grab all the products that you're going to be using. If you already have one of these vertical hanging organizers, try it out with your cleaning supplies or any other small items that you have to organize your space that much better. Since this organizer is waterproof, you could use it in the shower to organize all of your products. This would save space in your shower by using that vertical height, attaching it to the curtain rod and storing all of your products vertically. Love little organizers like this that really take your cupboards, your closets to the next level. These are shelf organizers and they're renter friendly. They slip right onto your shelf and you can organize different areas of your home. So you can use it in a cupboard like this to kind of create a multi-purpose storage area. So the dividers will help divide out that shelf and turn this space into an area that you can store multiple different things, but keep things really organized. So I can slip in my cutting boards, my tea towels, even some Ziploc bags. And that way everything has its own little place in a small area and it feels and looks very organized. These shelf dividers are perfect for a builder grade closet as well. If you have a home that has a nice little top shelf like this, you can use these dividers to help organize that shelf better. I have a bunch of towels and shirts up here that you know, never really look that organized. So I'm slipping these dividers in, creating little cubby spaces to store some rolled up towels and some extra shirts to make it look a lot neater. Now onto some pantry and cupboard organization. I'm gonna be showing you a fun, creative way of storing your canned goods. This is super easy and kind of creates a little vending machine opportunity here. So I'm going to be using this little file holder. I'm flipping it on its side and using it as a little storage area for my cans. This is the perfect way to divide out your cans, organize them, but also create a little moment to grab and the rest of the cans kind of roll through so that you're always circulating the cans. I feel like using products like this that you might already have in your home and making a new purpose for them really makes organizing that much more fun. If you have a little furry friend like this, this tip might come in handy for you. Every time my cats eat, they leave a mess around the floor like this. So I'm always sweeping up their food to make the space look cleaner, obviously. I'm gonna create a little organization storage opportunity using these damage-free mop and broom hooks. Sometimes just having a designated spot for something makes your house feel that much more organized. This holds four pounds of weight. It's renter friendly and you can just snap in whatever you want to hold up. So for me, I'm going to be hanging my little broom just for convenience and creating this little storage opportunity for something that I use every single day. You can also use this to store away your Swiffer vacuum, your Swiffer wet jet or your duster, or just your broom to hold all of your stuff vertically and take up less space in your home.
You might be able to tell that I love hanging storage ideas. So here's another one for your oven mitts and oven pads. If you don't have a designated space for them like me and you just have them shoved away in a drawer, you could actually use shower rings like this to hang your oven mitts, oven pads, or really any other kitchen utensil. These are clear little shower rings that I picked up from Ikea, super affordable. I think they're around 50 cents and you can just slip them on to your oven and use this as a little storage opportunity. Obviously this would look a lot cuter if you didn't have bright colored oven mitts like I do. If you had some really pretty neutral ones that go with your kitchen, it can act as decor. But in my case, I'm actually gonna hide them behind my tea towel here and you don't even know that they're there. So you can access them when you need them, but also hide them behind more of your decorative elements. You can hang pretty much anything from these little curtain rings. You can also hang and organize your hats if you have a ton of hats in your home and you want a designated hanging spot for them, you can use shower rings like this. You can attach them to one of your clothes hangers and hang them up in your closet. This will keep your hats off the floor, off of surfaces and put away in their own designated place. always working on new ways to organize the dishes in the cupboard. So I love the way the plates are displayed. It's super functional for us, but the bowls are something that I haven't figured out. They always end up on top of each other like this. It's hard to get at the ones you want. There's a ton of vertical space in here that I can take advantage of and turn into an organization opportunity. So I'm using these nice little shelf baskets that hang from the shelf above. So if you have a space like this in your kitchen, you can definitely use these. You can slip them into the shelf above and separate your dishes that way. It stays organized and now every dish has its own little designated spot, which always makes things look and feel that much more organized. some simple laundry room organization. I'm sure a lot of your laundry rooms look just like this. You have all of the products that you want to use out ready to grab at and no matter how many times you try and line everything up to make it look a lot neater, it still could just look a lot better. So I'm going to be sharing with you a simple way to make your laundry room look very Pinterest worthy. I'm going to be rejarring all of my products to make them look beautiful and make them look like a decorative piece. So I'm using these IKEA jars as well as these tight closed jars. To start, I'm laying down a tray so that all of my jars can kind of stay together and stay looking neat, tidy, and decorative. And I'm rejarring my Tide Pods, sealing those off with a nice lid. They're super easy to access and doing the same thing with my scent boosters. You can just stick a nice little scoop in there so that you can access your supplies and products super easily. I'm also going to be rejarring my dryer sheets to make them look a lot neater, but also keep the scent within the jar and keep them fresh. It really makes it easy to access them, grab what you need and keep things looking really clean and tidy. Another little detail that makes the laundry room look messy is the garbage can. I have a little garbage can here for my lint and I'm actually going to be using this little mini countertop garbage can with a lid to store away all of my lint and it keeps the garbage looking like it's not garbage and it's hidden behind everything and in a nice container. Now I'm not done yet. I want to add a little bit more detail to this organization by customizing my own labels. I'm going to be using the Cricut Maker to make my own labels. This is the ultimate smart cutting machine. It accurately, quickly, simply cuts so many different materials, over 300 different materials. I'm going to be using it to cut my vinyl today, but it can cut delicate paper, fabric, or even tough materials like leather or basswood. The possibilities to make anything just feel endless using the Cricut Maker. You can use it to cut and make iron-on projects, sewing DIY projects, wall art, paper crafts, furniture customizations, stencils, the Cricut Maker offers a wide range of tools that you can use for all these different projects. The possibilities are endless when you have the ability to engrave, draw, deboss, cut, 
create perforations, you can make wavy lines. All of the things that seemed almost impossible to do on your own are now possible because of the Cricut Maker. You can go on to the Cricut Design Space and find 50 ready to make projects, or you could go on and make your own custom pattern. I'm gonna be using this beautiful watercolor brush Cricut font that I found to create these labels for my laundry room. You can also bring in different templates like this, like this jar to kind of visualize what your design is gonna look like, but it's super easy to do. You just kind of type in whatever you want your label to say and press make it. It connects to your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, or a desktop. I'm just plugging mine into my laptop to work from there and cut out my labels for this project. It's so cool to watch the Cricut working in action. It's super quick. The font that I chose is not something I'd be able to cut out with scissors or make on my own. So this is super cool that it's just doing it for me. And I just get to sit back and wait for it. The machine cut out the labels absolutely perfectly. All you have to do is weed out all the space that you don't want on the label and you're left with just the font. And you can just easily apply that using the Cricut transfer tape. That way your font stays straight. All the letters are in the exact place that you want them and you can apply it to the jar. So this totally elevates the organization in here. It makes it look custom. This is definitely something that I would buy in stores if I could find a jar that says this, but it's so cool that I can make it myself and really customize it to my home using my Cricut Maker. I'm actually really excited about creating custom gifts with my Cricut Maker because I'm always on Etsy and different sites trying to find custom gifts and now I can actually make them myself. I want to make my own wall art, do iron-on projects, make different stencils, customize mugs. I'm just so excited. The Cricut Maker is definitely a must if you're a DIYer or a crafter like me. Now that I can create these beautiful labels, I'm also gonna be taking this opportunity to reorganize my spice cabinet. There's so many ways to organize spices. I'm gonna be rejarring them, but not rejarring these ones. These have a built-in grinder, so those can stay as is. But for the rest of them, I'm gonna be rejarring them to get rid of the original packaging and use these IKEA 365 glass jars. So I like that these have two different sides to the cap. This also gives you an opportunity to combine different jars that you might have and fill them into one so that you can take up less space in your cabinet. This instantly elevates the look of your cabinet and it's probably the most simple thing that you can do to really make your home look that much more organized. I'm finishing it off with my new custom Cricut labels. I love the way this font looks. It's so pretty. Let me know what you guys think of my new little spice cabinet. Lastly, let's talk about some front door shoe organization. Right now, I don't really have the best system going. I use this little bench as a storage unit for my shoes, but I also use it as a place to sit down and put my shoes on. So it tends to look like this at its tidiest, but I think we can take it to the next level by using baskets. If you know me, you know I love using baskets to organize, decorate, and hide clutter, and I consider shoes clutter. So if you can hide them away in baskets, it will make your front door look very neat and tidy and just hide away all the shoes. It also saves space in a small area. I could have fit two more baskets filled with shoes in this small space. So I highly recommend getting some baskets together and storing your shoes away that way. It just adds a nice decorative touch to your front door and keeps things a lot tidier. Thank you so much again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. All right, so that's it for today's organizing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this sparks some motivation in you to get your space organized as well. Let me know down below in the comments which area of your home needs organization and which one of these ideas from this video are you gonna use for your home. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!